Hi, Sue Lawson here at NAB 2014. I'm with Dan May from Blackmagic Design. DaVinci Resolve is so incredibly exciting, and now you guys have gone even further. 70 more reasons to love it. Dan, tell me. So this is Resolve 11, which we're showing here today. It's uh, as you mentioned, there's 70 new editing features in there, so it's got quite a bit more editing capabilities. It's actually got 140 new features altogether, so we... we <laughs> he didn't want to tell me that before because I would have been like one of those. It, it is quite dizzying to think about how much we've actually put in here. It obviously is a giant upgrade. We're going to be betaing this in May. Hopefully we'll have a solid summer leaf for that, but the best part about it is, which is even more amazing, is it's a free update for every Resolve user that's ever been out there. So, so we're really excited about it. You know, when we talk about what we're, these 70 the editing features, a lot of what we're talking about is we've expanded some of these timeline capabilities and the things that are really the most impressive to me are some of these editing capabilities is, you know, JKL uh, trimming, 3.4 point editing. Oh, one of the things I love, one of the best about it is that almost everything is customizable and keyframeable right in the timeline. So I want to keyframe my transitions, I want to keyframe my effects. We've added a ton of new titling capabilities, all keyframeable there. And I love the fact that it's in the timeline because I've always kind of been, when it opens in the other box and you're like, well, I'm not sure how this really relates to back in the timeline. So when you're able to see that in the dynamic of the timeline, it's a really great thing. I mean, even this alone, two screens, that's a new feature for Resolve. And when I was a color grader, it was kind of okay to just be in the one screen. But as an editor, I'm always, where's my media pool? I want my timeline. I want to have the multiple windows. So a tremendous amount of editing uh, features we've added in here as well. On the high end, we start to see some really great features such as multiple users working on the same project. So, so being able to have two colorists and an editor working within the same timeline, uh, as they make adjustments, you'll see the bits turn red, and then you can go ahead and accept those changes. So kind of more high-end multi-user capability within here, but even just for a single user, it's really elegant to be able to say, you know, I look at using our camera and we say I've got this raw disk being able to jump it into my media pool copy that over drop raw files directly on the timeline being able to edit jump into my color page do my cuddler and then go into delivery that's a very smooth transparent you know workflow we have there but we continue to work with our third-party partners we do round tripping with Final Cut Pro X if I want to work with a flame or a smoke if I'm working with Premiere being able to take all of these different file formats and work with all of our partners so that not everyone's going to want to do every bit of here in Resolve that we do have a lot of it, we're still remaining very open and wanting to engage with all the software platforms out there. So, you know, Resolve 11 is just tremendously powerful. We're really excited to get it out to people's hands. And, you know, we've been packed with all, we have more Resolve stations than we've ever had, and it's been busier than ever. So it's been a really great NAB for us. We've had to go ahead and fight just to try to get up here. One of the things I love, obviously, as an editor is the fact that this allows me to have more flexibility and more time to be more creative. My question is, let's say I'm working with legacy material. What sure. what type of file formats does this take? I see MOV, which is yeah, no. pretty standard there. Th th this is one of the most robust softwares we have out there. It's a tremendous library of flavors. I mean, we were the, one of the first guys that were able to connect from Final Cut into Avid, you know. So really, almost every format in there, it's been a tremendous amount of work we put in to be able to take just about every file format that we have out there, JPEG 2000, just tons of stuff we're adding in here to make it very flexible. And then, of course, being able to put all of those on the timeline at the same time. So uh, it's a very scalable platform. Obviously, the more GPU and the more power we have means the more real-time capabilities. We're really pleased with these new Mac Pros when you start buying these. these, uh, these oh, lovely. Yeah. And it, it, Fast. People, people have been wondering how powerful are these new Mac Pros and the fact that you can buy, you know, we, we get the, obviously the biggest ones we can with the most amount of power, but they are tremendously powerful. So, you know, having this really compact unit that's high powered to drive resolve, it's been tremendous and people are, are, are literally coming surprised how much power these are driving. So, uh, again, a really flexible solution that we're happy to be showing here. I'm wondering what the heck they're going to have here next year because just when you think they've done it all, they do something new. Sue Lawson, Dan May, Black Magic Design, DaVinci Resolve. Oh, and you might want to pick up one of these just to make your edit system complete. Thanks.